to another class here at Maya Yoga Online. My name is Danica, and today let's get started in child's pose. So making sure that we are sitting back on the heels, our body comes forward, and our arms stretch toward the top of our mat with our forehead down on the ground. Now we're looking for this to be a nice long release for our low back. So just sending your breath into that space. expanding and lifting up toward the ceiling as you breathe in. And then as you breathe out, part the lips and let it be a full, true release. With an inhale, let's look toward the hands. Walk your hands back, starting to sit up on the heels. And take your time here. We're going to come off to the right side. So our feet going off to the left. From here, let's bring our left arm out to the side, fingertips reaching toward the floor. The right arm can come up overhead. And coming to the side bends, we're really reaching through the right fingertips, trying to stretch all along the right side of our body. You can always use your left hand, pressing into the floor, gently pushing away to almost try and open up that side further while we reach through the right fingertips. Now we're sending the breath into the right rib cage, right side of the body opening. And from here, start to bring that right arm off to the side, just an extension away from your shoulder. Now really reach toward that right side. Reach the crown of your head in the opposite direction. See if you start to feel a stretch through the neck and through your arm. You can play around and turn your palm up towards the ceiling, still reaching out through the fingertips, maybe turning the palm back down. Notice how this feels for you, and then really let your head just drop heavy. So we are opening into the neck even more. And then start to reach through those fingertips as much as you can, as if someone is pulling on your arm. Gently, 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 and slowly coming back up through to center. Take a moment, find a full breath here, and release out. We'll do that same thing on the other side. So just letting your feet swivel off, now over toward the right. Your left hand will come off to the side, right arm out toward the toes or toward your feet. Sweeping the left arm up overhead, start to find that side bend. Really opening into the left side of the body now. Breath back into the left side of the rib cage, reaching through the left fingertips. Again, maybe pressing away from the floor through that right hand, opening up further through the side body. And then when you're ready, bringing that left arm off to the side, same height as your shoulder. Starting to actively reach toward the left, crown of the head reaching toward the right. Opposing directions, we're stretching the body. Take a moment, play around with turning the palm up toward the ceiling, noticing what that does for you. And then feel free to turn that palm back down, keep reaching, crown of the head over toward the right side. And that same motion, let your head drop as much as it wants to, opening into the neck even more. Then imagine someone pulling on your hand, starting to bring you back through, all the way up to center, nice and slow. And then your head stacks over top of the shoulders, over the hips. Take a moment here, full breath in. And a full breath out. Good. We'll come down into the lower body and send your feet forward out in front of you together. Now, bring a generous bend into the knees to begin with. Feel your sit bones rooting down into the floor. And I almost want you to imagine that you're opening your heart forward, bringing an arch into your back. See if your belly button can pull in toward the spine and then hinge forward from the hips so that our abdomen starts to rest onto our thighs. 
We want to maintain this connection, chest open toward the front of the room, again, helping with the elongation of our spine. Hands can come forward, reaching toward the floor. They can rest on the shins or even reach for the toes. And then take your time here. Slowly start to let the feet reach or slide forward so that we start to lengthen and open through the backs of the legs even more. As we do this, come only to a point where you feel that stretch and it's a comfortable stretch. You can maintain and hold here, keeping a smooth breath. And then we want to focus on the feet. So notice if it's the big side or the big toe and the big toe mound that starts to pull in and the outer edges of your feet almost are reaching further toward the top of your mat. Let's avoid that. Let's try to press through our big toe mounds drawing the outside edges of the feet back towards us and just noticing how that changes the stretch in the legs. Maybe it becomes more intense, so again, bring back that breath. Walking the hands back. We'll pull the legs into our cross leg position, Sukhasana. And then bringing the hands onto your knees, close your eyes. Feel a long inhale, drawn in, lengthening up through the spine. And a long breath out. Full breath in. Part the lips, release out. Good. Full inhale, let's sweep the arms up overhead. Belly to spine. Exhale, left hand over toward the right knee, right hand behind you, coming into a twist. Use the left or the right fingertips, pushing or tenting the fingers into the floor to help lift up through the spine. Becoming a little bit taller, take a moment, turn your gaze over your right shoulder. Looking behind you here, full breath, breathing into any restriction we feel in the twist. And a full breath out. Stay in the twist. Now with the torso maintaining this twist, bring your gaze back to center. And then just allow your left ear to fall toward your left shoulder. So you're gazing almost toward the direction of your right knee, slightly in the front. Again, a nice deep stretch for the neck, for the shoulders. Try to drop that right shoulder. Try to drop the left shoulder. Start to bring your gaze forward to center, releasing the hands and bringing everything back facing forward. Switching sides, full inhale, sweep the arms high. Navel to spine, sit bones root, twisting toward the left. Right hand comes across to the left knee, left arm is behind, tensing the fingers, propping yourself up, becoming taller through the spine. Breathing into this twist, on the exhale, take your gaze over your left shoulder. Maintaining this twist, bring your gaze back through to center. Allow your right ear to drop down toward your right shoulder. Again, a little adjustment, trying to drop both shoulders away from the ears. Good, bringing your head back up through to center, turning the body to face forward. And just a little bit of a wiggle if you need. And then coming forward onto your hands and knees. Spread the fingers wide and press down through each finger pad. We'll start moving the upper body in circular motions, starting to bring an opening into the wrists, into the forearms. Again, fingers remain active. Bring that suction cup to the bottom of your palm. Let's switch directions, rotating the opposite way. Good. 
We'll start to externally rotate, so bringing the fingertips toward the side edges of your mat. If you can go further and it feels okay, bring the fingertips so that they point towards your knees. Start to notice how we feel in the forearms. Do we want to stay exactly as we are? Pulling the belly toward the spine, avoiding that arch in the low back. You can also decide to play around, shifting your weight back and forward. Explore how it feels to keep the heels of your palms rooted, or how it feels to maybe lift, get into the fingertips a little bit more. You can bend the elbows. And then when you're ready, bring the fingers so that they point toward the top of the mat again. We'll start with only the right hand, bringing the back of the hand down onto the mat, and exploring how it feels opening through the other side. And we'll bring that hand back down, bring it back the left hand down onto the mat, a bit of decompression. and then bring that hand back down on the mat. Start to walk your knees forward, pressing the hands off of the floor so that we lift up. We're standing on our knees, hands are gonna come behind us on our low backs, fingers toward the ground, and as you open up through the front body, start to imagine drawing the elbows toward one another. Start to imagine that the fingers are pressing down and slightly forward assisting that slight tuck of the tailbone. And as you tuck the tailbone, the front body is coming up, reaching toward the ceiling. Squeeze the elbows in, tucking the tailbone under, hands helping, open up the sternum, chest reaching forward, up, and option to lift the gaze. Just a little heart opener here, gentle back bend. And releasing out. Coming forward, hands come down onto the ground. Let's start by sending our right leg back behind us, planting the toes into the mat. Pushing off of the toes, start to shift your body forward and back. Really focusing on the ankle here, pointing the foot as much as you can when you come forward, and flexing the foot as much as you can when you press back. As you press back, we're looking for that stretch in the calf, the ankle. Keep the torso strong, belly drawn in. And then as you come forward, we'll root the toes down into the mat, shoulders are over the wrists. Let's drop the heel down to the floor so we open through that right side body. If you're feeling a stretch from here already, feel free to stay. Another option is to bring your right hand to your hip. Another option being stretching that arm toward the ceiling or overhead toward the top of your mat. Feel free, that left foot behind can always become a kickstand, turning off to the side of your mat. Pointing through the right toes, you can become as long as you'd like. So maybe wrapping that left arm, or that right arm back down rather, let's come down onto both knees. A little sway of the tail side to side, and let's switch. Send that left leg back behind you, rooting through the toes, pushing forward to the shoulders past the wrists, and then sending ourselves back heel, reaching as far as it can. Forward and back. Working into that angle, feeling this in the calf. Good. And then when you're ready, again, heel stacks over the toes. Slowly then start to drop your left heel down to the mat, opening through the left side body. Both hands can stay rooted, or all those options. Left hand to the hip, left hand to the ceiling, left arm reaching overhead. Again, that right foot can kick off to the side. 
Breathing to the side body, becoming as long as you like, as long as you can. And then slowly wrapping that arm down to the mat, coming onto both knees. Take a little sway of the hips side to side. Coming to our inversion today, hips higher than the heart, our downward facing dog. So rooting through both hands, tuck the toes under. Let's lift our knees off of the mat. Feel your belly draw in toward the spine so we engage and we're strong here. Hands press away from the floor. Slowly begin to send the hips slightly back and then up toward the ceiling. You can keep your knees bent here. So working on spinal elongation, tailbone lifting toward the ceiling, belly drawing in, press through the fingertips, press away through the arms. Feel free to then start pedaling through the ankles, dropping one heel toward the floor and then the other. Again, getting into the backs of the legs. You might decide to work one leg at a time and perhaps you start to drop that right heel down toward the mat, letting the left foot press gently down on that ankle. Often you can find that space between your big toe and the second toe, placing the ankle of your right in between and allowing it to drop that right heel toward the mat. Yeah, let's switch sides. Drop that left foot down to the mat, heel descends to the floor, that space between the first and second toe, placing it on the left ankle, still sending the hips up and back, breathing into that left leg. Good, and then gently coming up. We're going to sweep that right leg up into the air, look towards your hands, come onto the left toes, Start to drive that right knee forward, stepping between the hands. Drop your back left knee down to the mat. Let's inhale, arms sweep high. On an exhale, frame that front foot. Curl the back toes under, step back, downward dog. Switch sides, and left leg sweeps up into the air. Look to the hands, come onto the toes, and drive that knee forward. Stepping between the hands, drop the back knee. Inhale, arms rise. On an exhale, let's frame the front foot. Step back to your downward facing dog. Lift onto both toes, look towards your hands. Come forward to your high plank. Let's drop our knees down to the mat. Elbows draw in and we lower to the floor. Inhale, find a baby cobra, letting the back body do the work here. Soften your glutes. Find the strength. One more inhale. And as you exhale, let's press into the hands. Push up and send the hips back toward your heels. Give your wrists a little rotation here. Squeeze into the fingers. Make fists. As you come up onto the knees, let's make our way down onto the glutes. From the glutes, feet root down in front of you. Come down onto your back body. And then let the soles of your feet come together for a bound angle. Feeling the hips open. Take a moment here. Your hands are going to come onto your thighs. And again, trying to bring a little bit of spinal elongation or release for the low back. We'll press the hands on the thighs and gently push forward. Kind of do a little shimmy, side to side, one hand more than the other, back and forth, or both at the same time, same amount of pressure. Feeling, again, a release for the low back, a little lengthening here. and softening your hands, relaxing them down onto your belly. 
Take a few breaths in this bound angle, allowing your attention to focus on the breath and the opening of the inner hip. And then very slowly start to draw the knees in toward one another. Pull your knees in towards your chest. Hands wrap around the shins or the back of your thighs. A little rocking side to side. And then as always, at the end of my classes, feel free to find any pose that your body may be asking for before you fully complete this practice. It could be a full happy baby, maybe some supine twists. Just listening to your body. Thank you for joining me and we'll see you next time. Namaste.